Hi Aries, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. So your key to the week this week is the Strength card. This really says to me this week, it's about whatever you are doing this week, you have to put the essence of who you truly are into it. It's not gonna cut it this week for you to just do something at surface level or to go through the motions. Whatever you are doing this week, you have to be fully engaged and connected to it. This is about you really being present and like I say, putting the essence of who you are into what you do. With that said, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button for your... Uh, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So, uh, for your actions and options this week, you have the Two of Cups. So, when it comes to partnerships, connections, and collaborations, this week, you really do need to put your heart into it, all right? It does suggest as well that when it comes to relationships, you might be, you might be sort of actually um, doing this from like an innate push rather than from the external world. So it's not like someone's forcing you to be more present in a relationship. It's like you are showing up more in partnerships, connections, collaborations. This does also suggest as well, some of you, and it's not unknown, right? Aries is a very brave sign. But for a lot of you this week, I kind of feel like you're getting really real and honest with yourself about what you want. And if that is another person, if there's a connection that you're trying to forge or somebody that you want to be more a part of your life, this is the week for you to really be honest and open about that and to go for it. So I actually really like this, okay? Um, I think this is as well for some of you, this might be a week where you make a decision at a heart-based level to say, you know what, this is what I really feel is, do you know what I mean, like a part of... Um, yeah, like this is what I really feel is a part of who I am. Uh, you know, it's like you're being more honest and open about how you feel for a change, which is not a bad thing at all. Uh, now, with that said, um, for your communications and conversations, you've got the Four of Swords with the Strength card, right? So when it comes to communications, whenever the Four of Swords is in the communication sector, I always say to people, this is a slower week for communication, right? So you're probably gonna notice maybe there's a not, not a lot going on, maybe what you're saying isn't as vocal or isn't as heard, which means that when you do speak or you do have, uh, you know, you've got the floor or the microphone or the talk stick in, in, you know, in whatever sense or area of your life, make sure that what you're saying this week absolutely counts, all right? You've really got like, whatever you're saying this week, it has to be on point and it has to be from the heart. Uh, the other thing as well, this might not be the week for you to, like if there's, I mean, it's a good week for communications and sharing from the heart space. It's just not everything, all right? And this is why I say like this, whatever you're saying, it has to, the quality of what you're saying is really more important than the quantity of conversations that you're having. When it comes to those of you that are um, in or studying or in some form of academia, this might be a week where, uh, you know, some of the conversations that you're having, you realize, I'm gonna get further on this, on this project, in this subject, um, if I actually connect with other people. This week is not really about going it alone, which is something that you do very well. This just isn't the week where you'll get those same results. For those of you that are um, employed by somebody else, Honestly, remember what I said to you earlier about going through the motions? This week, you might look at your job very differently. You might look at your job, the people that you work with or for. You might look at the whole professional sphere and say, hmm, for the first time in a long time, I'm not feeling fulfilled. Or actually, I could get more out of this if dot, dot, dot. Uh, for those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, or people that work for themselves, um, slow and steady is gonna win this race, all right? Like this week, really take time to formulate your plans, to really get into the nitty gritty of what it is that you're trying to create. This is a time to be really honest with yourself. And more importantly, when it comes to your business, when it comes to the things that you're sharing with the world, this is a time to really put like a dose of you 
into the work that you're doing. I don't care how technical it is. I don't care that even if it's something that literally has nothing to do with people. Find a way to put the essence of who you are into your business this week because that's what's gonna differentiate and that's what's gonna really help you win the day. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, this is actually a perfect week for you to do some kind of um, yeah, like R&R, &R, like rest, recuperation. This is a really great week to sit and, you know, even if it's just brainstorming with a pen, what do you want? What do you need at the moment? If you're out of work and you're looking for work, what kind of work do you want that will be fulfilling to you at the core of who you are? It's not enough just to look for a job this week to fill the space, right? This week is really about you finding out what do I actually want and what do I feel will really nourish me at that heart-spaced level. For your love and relations, you have the lover's card underneath the two of cups. Love, partnership, relationship looks very very nice this week. You've got the two of cups and the lovers. That's genuine love. That's real love. That's true love. Okay, so for when it comes to the, the current partner, married, uh, long-term partner, uh, oh my gosh, come on, Raph. For those of you that are married, partnered, or in long-term commitments, your relationship really is the strength and the core of everything this week. It's where you find, draw, and um, generate true power from within the com conversation between you and your partner maybe there's not a lot being said right maybe you're over there playing on your playstation and your partner's laying there you know reading their book but their foot is stroking the side of your arm you know sometimes those kinds of connections are really really beautiful and very powerful so this week it does it might not be you know all hearts and flowers and roses it might just be you know yeah i mean a good space and this is what I want. For those of you that are single and looking, I mean, like I say, it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality and the quality of connection really is there this week. And I think this is because you are coming from that heart-spaced place. Um, so love it. For your money and materials, you have the King of Cups. Um, all right, when it comes to finances, money and resources, I'm just gonna throw in a little promo here. For a lot of you, you had asked if Mindset Magic would ever be the discounted price that I released it at when I first released it at the start of this year. No is the answer to that question, but it will be heavily discounted this week. So if you are interested and you want to get on that, there's still two community calls to come from Mindset Magic, where we go into uh, all kinds of energy work. Uh, you know, we're gonna be talking about the moons, etc. There's a lot to it. If you wanna get that, there's a link in the description box below and you can get that on the 24th uh, for a massive discount. So the discount code will be there on the 24th. It will be available for 24 hours only. Now, for your money and materials, you've got the King of Cups. This and the Strength card and the Two of Cups and the Lovers. Your heart is your power pack, right? This is something I go into, and it's funny actually, because this is something I go into a lot in the Mindset Magic course. You wanna talk about manifesting? It doesn't come from, you know, and all of that stuff. It comes from here, right? When you really have good command and centering of this, like, man, you, you'd be amazed at the stuff that can happen. There is a benefactor coming in, so a water sign, male, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could feature for you over the course of this week. This could be somebody that plays a supportive role. It is likely to be somebody who, maybe they don't speak a lot, but what they do say is kind of like, you know, on point. You're like, wow, okay, you know what? You you literally have said like five sentences, but I'm there with you, right? The other thing, when it comes to your finances and your resources, I think there's a deeper understanding of what it is that you need now to be more fulfilled moving forward on that material level, whether it's a new home, whether it's a new car, whether it's more money, whether it's, I don't know, access to, you know, uh, to, to, to money or whatever it might be. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, the King of Cups, for me, especially because of its ruler, this talks about your reproductive system. So I am gonna say if you have any challenges or issues in that regard, this will be a week to get that taken care of or to look uh, or looked at or into. Um, 
doesn't know there's nothing sinister here um for those of you that are uh, or should, or should i say for your home and environment the king of cups is beautiful because it suggests that love connection even if you're not with a partner even if you live alone home truly is a sanctuary this week and it's like the energies that are coming into you at you for you that are being generated by you really are in that heart space so you know what absolutely use it this is such a gorgeous week it's easy it's smooth it's harmonious it's kind it's loving it's warm it's gentle not things you necessarily associate with aries but that doesn't mean that you don't need them from time to time with that said i wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week let me know in the comments how it shapes up take care and i'll see you soon